a big setback today in their attempt to root out Taliban insurgents. Stray bombs hit a home, killing 12 members of an Afghan family. CBS News correspondent Terrell Brown reports. Marines battled sniper fire Sunday, determined to hold their ground against the Taliban. And what is one of their biggest defenses ever? NATO forces are hitting the southern Afghan town of Marja from all sides. This is going to be a long, tough slog here. Uh, we think it's going to be probably 30 days. Uh, you know, more uh, work here in, in Marja, but I think we're off to a good start. We're very optimistic as to where we are today. But Sunday, commanders ordered NATO troops to stop using a certain kind of rocket after two of them missed their target and slammed into a home, killing 12 civilians. The mistake could be a blow to the relationships troops have built with locals, needed to keep Marja Taliban free. Our plans call for uh, clearing the area, holding the area, and then build, providing some build, building for the people. There better security, better economic opportunity, better governance, uh, more of an Afghan face. The first step in the offensive, clearing, is already proving to be a challenge. Troops knew the Taliban would booby trap Marja, but they're finding far more homemade bombs than expected. Marines are taking it slow. This is wheat or poppy. They're also taking local farmers to task. They make more money growing poppy and selling it to the Taliban. Sunday, this impoverished farmer promised British troops he decided to grow wheat instead. A small but important step in the right direction as the battle to shut down Afghanistan's last big Taliban stronghold continues. Terrell Brown, CBS News, New Orleans.